Hey, what's up, Adobe Masters here. Today I'm coming to you with a quick tutorial on how you can create a pentagon, a hexagon, and really any gons that you want in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started on this. It's very, very simple. First thing I did was just import some background footage here. You see these lights moving just to make it look a little flashier. I grabbed it from Envato Elements, a great subscription-based service where you could pay a monthly fee and get a near unlimited amount of stock footage. Check out the link in the description below. We're gonna go up to here. We're gonna go to our polygon tool, and we're just gonna draw ourselves a polygon. Now, if you notice, whenever I draw this polygon, it always starts off the triangle we need to open up the essential graphics panel to the, the right here easiest way is to go to captions and graphics it'll open it on up over go down to align and transform and then on the right side here this is how many sides it has so you do two and it can't do that because that would be a straight line then you have three four will make yourself a well it sort of makes it more of like a rhombus or something like that but it's basically a square um five you get yourself pentagon six is a hexagon and then seven is some other gun that I don't know right now, but you can keep making these go up essentially until you make yourself an ellipse at the end of the day. But anything really from uh, three to 15 can be very helpful. Once you have this created, for example, you can also click on it and do some manipulations on each one of these so you can make it shorter or longer. You could take the rounded edges and you can actually round them in to make it more of a rounded. This is good if you're gonna put text on it, it makes it look a lot more natural. Um, and you can also adjust the sort of curves as well. That's your sort of edge curve. If you hold the Alt key, you can affect one at a time and you can create a, sort of a creative version of your hexagon where it's, it's longer in some areas and shorter in the other areas like so. And it creates almost this cool little teardrop thing. But that is how you go ahead and change the amount of sides on a polygon in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks everyone for joining. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comment section below on our website, adobemasters.net. Until next time, everyone, see ya.